Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Ladies, welcome to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast, a podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams, and she lives like a pirate. And today we're cursing like a pirate, so uh, that's why I started the episode in a different way. Yar, We're pirates today. Joy is a little girl, and she's recovering her life, living in her father's dreams, and he dreams about adventure, and, and they live on a flying pirate ship called Bunny's Revenge, which they stole, uh, as we've seen. And uh, she's going to grow up, and we're going to cover an entire life from birth to death. But for now, for today and tomorrow, we're going to be cursing like pirates, or at least the way it comes off in a dream. The dreams are not always what you expect them to be when you're in them. So let's see. Episode 162, Cursing Like a Pirate, Part 1. Joy's Age 3, Told by the Red Dragon. Today I'm going to teach you to curse like a pirate, Joy. Dragonfather had recently appeared on the deck of Bunny's Revenge, woken Dragon Lil from her bed, helped her brush her teeth and eat, and now declared what they were going to do today. Three-year-old Dragon Lil looked up at Dragonfather. Curse? Yeah, it's like when you feel angry at someone and you, uh, uh, curse. Dragon Lil did not seem to get it. Curse? Curse, but like a pirate, for example. And then he felt silent. Damn, I was sure I knew a lot of pirate curses, but I can't remember any of them. That was not surprising. Dragonfather did not know he was dreaming. But I have visited other dreams during my long life, and I have seen that dreamers sometimes find it hard to concentrate on facts they know in the waking world. Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's make them up. That's the fun. Like, if you meet a bad guy, you can tell him, Why, you lily-livered vomit? Go ahead, try. Why, you? She looked at him with questioning eyes. He nodded. Why, you really rivered vomit? Uh, close enough. Why you lily livered vomit? Why you really rivered rarement? Dragonfather laughed. Yes, absolutely. Tell that to the next villain we meet. Why you rarely rivered rarement? Dragon Lil repeated, probably committing it to heart. It was true that it was funny to see such an innocent, wide-eyed child try out these words and copy her father's tones. Okay, how's this? You doggone diggity doogity. Dragon Lil pursed her lips and said nothing. You can do it. Come on, you see a villain and you say, You doggone diggity doogity. You, you doggy dugga dugga diggity. All right, all right, he nodded. Let's try that again. You doggone diggity doogity. You diggity diggity diggity. All right, all right, he nodded calmly again. Maybe we need something more your age. Uh, Want to try? She nodded. Of course, that was the beginning of the curse-filled day. Tomorrow, I will tell you what happened next. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Cursing, Shooting Fairies. I'm, well, I'm not going to tell you why it's, uh, it's called Shooting Fairies. Like I said, most of, uh, most of, uh, the Squash Buckler Diaries are um, hash, uh, no, hashtags are um, Easter eggs uh, about stuff that's going to happen in the future. And I really try very hard not to put future hashtags of stuff I know that's coming or stuff where the hashtag will reveal what the actual secret is. So I try to put different types of hashtags. But fine, shooting fairies. Like, what do you make of it? Does it matter? It's It's an Easter egg. And, um, you know, just have to keep uh, listening, keep reading. So, more cursing like pirate tomorrow. But, obviously, things are not 
just like Justin couldn't think of uh, curses, uh, things don't always go the way you expect them to go. So join us tomorrow. And now, the credits. The Squashbuckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squashbuckler Diaries more. The Squashbuckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com, that's G U Y. H A W S O N G U Y H A S S O N at gmail dot com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more.